knowledge, all that they have, and let the strangers spoil their labor. Let there be none to extend mercy unto them. Neither let there be any to favor their fatherless children. Let their posterity be cut off, and then the generation following, let their name be blotted out. Let the iniquity of their fathers be remembered through Yahweh, Yahushua, 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 and let not the sin of their mothers be blotted out. Let them be before Yahweh continually. That he may come up the memory of them from the earth, because they remember not to show mercy to persecuted poor and needy people. That they might even slay the broken in heart. That they left curses, so let the curses come upon them. As they delighted not in blessings, so let the blessings be far from them. As they clothe themselves with cursing, like with their garments, so let them come into their bowels like water, like oil, into their bowels. Let it be unto them as a common which covered them for a quiver with a quiver continually. Let this be the reward of our adversaries from Yahweh, Yahushua, Yahweh. Let this be the reward of them that speak evil against our souls. They do that for us, O power the master, for the name's sake, because our mercy is good, deliver thou us. For we are poor and needy, and the heart is wounded within us. We are gone back to shadow and a decline, and we are tossed up and down as a locust, and these are weak to fasten our flesh, for the fatness. We became also reproachable, and they looked upon us as shake their heads. Help us, O master, our power. O save us according to thy mercy, that they may know that it is in thy hand, that thou, Yahweh, you shall be hailed. Let them curse, but bless thou, and they are Rise up and be ashamed, but let us, your yeah, servants, rejoice. Let our adversaries be clothed with shame, and let them cover themselves with their own confusion as with a mantle. I will bring the praise Yahweh, Yahushua, Yahushua, of our mouth. Yea, I will praise him among the multitude, for he shall stand at our right hand, the right hand of the poor, to save us from those that condemn our souls. Our Father Yahuwah, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. The kingdom will come, and there will be none on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our sins, as we do forgive those who have sinned against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom. The power and the glory forever on my head. When you say that you're sorry, when you say that you forgive people, when you forgive enemies, when you forgive devil worshippers, when you forgive these evil people, what you're doing is you're bringing attention to them. The Heavenly Father ignores those demon worshippers, but when you forgive them, you're bringing attention to them, and then when he sees how evil they are, he not only does not forgive them, but he kills them. When he shall be judged, let the condemned, let the perfect come stand. Let the take your key, let another another take his office. Let the children be followers, and let his wife be a widow. Okay. I'm going to give you a, a lesson in death children. psalms. We continually write because what you want to do when you are engaged to like for you people that are being gangstar, share this with every single gangstar person that you know, young cars, those TIs and stuff, whatever. Everybody you know. Please, if there is anything that you could ever do for me that I would ask of you. Okay, anything. Screw money. That's not going to help. What I want you to do is please go and spam every single targeted individual, every single TI on YouTube. Go to every single gangsta channel or anyone and everyone that talks about gangsta in any way and go spam their channel. By telling them to either watch this video or teach them yourself how to do the best songs, okay? Because this stuff works. My gang stalkers, they don't exist anymore. They're all dead. How did they die? From these words that are about to come out of my mouth, they're freaking dead, man. There's CIA guys that are dead. There's uh, FBI people that are dead. Cops, dead. Uh, EMS guys, uh, emergency medical stuff, they're dead, man. Unemployed, wetbacks, niggers, and honkers, all dead. Freemasons, dead. I pray people to death and they fucking die. Okay, they die. I'm tossed up and down. The obituary column just filled with gang stalkers. My flesh fell so fast. Dead. I became most of all broken. This stuff works. If it wasn't Christianity, people would call it witchcraft because that's basically what it is. You're casting spells. In Christianity, we call it prayers. But it's really no different than witchcraft. These death psalms and all the psalms in the Bible. The Bible is basically a big book of witchcraft spells. It's really what it is. The difference between witchcraft and Christianity is only one thing. The source of the power. With witchcraft, the source of power is with the devil and the demons and fallen angels that disguise themselves as good creatures, which they are not. With Christianity, the source of power comes from the only entity that has any power. The all-powerful Yahuwah, which is the creator, the creator of everything, the creator of the universe. He is the universe. 
Uni, one and verse, word, word and one word. word. So there's the one word. There are words. There's the word of God. Mind, Jesus Christ and Nazareth, right? Let me show you how she says, I'm the word. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. The word was the universe. Uni, one. Me, those who don't know me. First, word, one word. The universe is one word. See, the Freemasons, when they name the universe the universe, they knew what they were talking about. They just choose not to believe in it. They choose not to worship it. Okay? You don't need to understand the numbers or numerology or gematria or any of that crap they do because they don't obey Yahuwah. They don't obey the Creator. You don't need to do any of that. Neither do I. He knows everything because He created everything. Me, Lord. He knows all the gematria. He knows all the numerical codes. He knows all the numbers. You have to be obedient to Him. You have to obey Him. Obey his commandments. The Ten Commandments start with that. And once you get those, then start following his dietary laws and, and the other stuff. Okay? But, uh, yeah, Jesus Christ overcame the law. But you still have to obey his commandments. You still have to obey the commandments. It's just that you're living under the grace. And that if you break the commandments, you're not going to go to hell. Whereas before, before Jesus Christ came in the flesh, you were you did suffer the potential of maybe going to hell, having hell for you. You know, like David, he didn't have Christ yet. And he killed Uriah the Hittite so that he could take Uriah the Hittite's wife into his concubine, right? Moses killed a guy. So they all committed grievous sins. But they go to hell the first time. But there is no Christ to save them. Why? Because the grace of the most high power is more powerful than his laws. He wants to obey his laws. So he wants you to believe in his grace more. Okay, and so when people are picking on you, or people are trying to fuck with your head, I apologize for the curse words. Okay, but you have to understand for the type of the audience that I have here, I have to speak in the language that they speak, and they use a lot of curse words. Okay, so I have to speak the language they speak, so number one, I don't appear self righteous. Okay, so I don't appear as, uh, you know, holier than thou. So to speak. Okay? So you have to be willing to speak in a language that, that, you, that people can understand, that your followers can understand. Okay? So when people are, are screwing with your mind or people, because that, that's all that the devil tries to do and his children are the same thing, which is the CIA, which is, uh, the CIA is a completely corrupt and evil satanic institution that I think everyone is aware of that right now. They go to other nations and, and overthrow all those nations and, and um, kill the people who are leading those nations and, and, and insert some puppet, some puppet. Sometimes some guy that's going to take their bribes, take now. America's bribes, and, and then exploit their own citizens, his or her own citizens, for our benefit, which is, is so wrong and so grotesquely evil on so many levels, and brings curse.